Welcome to the very first Stardew Valley randomizer race. My name's Cap and I'll be going up against the creator of the randomizer mod, Kaido Kid. Randomizers have become pretty popular as they can add some newfound variety to games. Almost every Legend of Zelda game has a mod that shuffles Link's items around, forcing you to complete dungeons out of order. Hollow Knight already gives you the option to complete areas in your chosen order, but the shuffled items and upgrades take it to a whole new level. Now, what about Stardew? Normally a relaxed, cozy game where you can do whatever you want when you want. Well, what if we couldn't gain skill levels, tool upgrades, farm building, or even seeds to grow crops the normal way. All of these items are locked and must be found at random location checks throughout the game. Location checks are the things we must complete to receive a random item reward. Items include the random upgrades, collectibles, and even traps. Basically, whatever we can get from a check. For instance, buying a tool upgrade might gain us a fishing level, a chest at the mines could give us a barn, and growing a parsnip could unlock winter. That's right, seasons are shuffled too, along with much more we'll encounter during the race. I've implemented an interface for easy tracking of what bundles we've completed, in addition to many of the important items we can find. Kaido Kid and I will be playing in separate worlds with the same randomized seed, meaning we'll find the same items at the same locations. The winner will be the first to complete every community center bundle. So without further ado, let's begin. Kaido Kid, you ready? Yes. All right, guys, three, two, one, go. Let's go. The first thing we both did was look at our starting hints. When it takes me five seconds to type hint. Hints tell us the location of a certain randomized item, and we'll get a new one every 15 checks. I'm going to probably end up spoiling what I find because I like doing live commentary. I mean, you can spoil what you found without saying where you found. I can be bluffing as well. We were given some nice starting items, including mixed seeds, sprinklers, and an auto petter. Now, what would we need that for? I don't care, probably I already gotten like a check by now. I barely remember the controls. I haven't played this game in months. Well, I'll have the gameplay mechanic advantage, maybe. I say that lightly. You'll have the randomizer knowledge and experience. Without much thought, I prepared a field for my mixed seeds. Kaido took a different approach by saving them. Since I haven't unlocked any crops yet, all 15 of my seeds will grow into fall forage. Kaido is likely waiting to find his first seed unlocked before planting, as crops are generally more valuable than forage, and once he has a crop unlocked, all 15 of his seeds will grow into that crop. We agreed animation canceling is allowed, so you'll see me use it to speed up tree chopping, although I guess Kaido ended up not taking advantage of it, which is alright because he has plenty of other tricks up his sleeve. Boy, I got my first check. Wait a minute. I did hint, but I didn't even pay attention to what it was. I should have probably done that. That would be smart, yes. We were allowed two starting hints each and got to see each other's choices. I chose the minecart repair for fast travel and the greenhouse so I could grow out of season crops. Kaido chose the stable to zoom with the horse and the silo likely so his animals can eat while he auto sleeps. Now, while Kaido is off in the forest, I'm taking a strange approach here and decided to auto sleep for a whole week. This way my fall forage would grow and maybe I'd get a quick check from foraging level two. Kaido Kid was thinking ahead and checked cinder sap forest for spring onions on day one. This is the only day that spring onions can spawn outside of spring, the very first day of the game. Meanwhile, after my week of sleep, my mixed seeds grew into fall forageables, which got me enough experience for the second foraging level. Wicked Chris, whatever that is. Kaido chose to place an auto petter inside Marnie's ranch. That's right, this mod has a secret feature to gain friendship points by auto petting NPCs. You'll get five friendship points every night with the NPCs that have a bed in the map you place it in. We've turned on a four times friendship multiplier, meaning Kaido will gain two hearts with Marnie in just 25 days. Once you have at least two hearts of friendship with an NPC, you're allowed to enter their room. Hmm, I wonder what Kaido wants to do in Marnie's room. This will be fun to look at afterwards. I have no idea what his strategy is. I have no idea what my strategy is. Razzle says that the Wicked Chris is the best dagger aside from the galaxy. Uh, I don't like daggers though. <laughs> Best daggers dagger. are the worst. <laughs> what day oh, are you on, Kaido? Well, day one. What the heck? You're on day one? I'm on day 16 here. Day one is the most important one. I day can day play one. day one on day 16. No, you can't. <laughs> you sure? Yes, I am sure. Uh-oh. I probably missed something very important. Remember how I mentioned spring onions only spawn outside of spring on the very first day? Well, hopefully that doesn't bite me later on. The community center bundles are randomized, so it's possible a spring onion is needed for one. Meanwhile, Kaido bought the pack upgrade, which unlocked his very first crop with the eggplant seeds. I auto-slept all the way to the day of the Stardew Valley Fair. Not only are there checks at the fair, but it's by far the easiest way to complete the introductions quest of talking to every NPC, since quests are checks as well. The fair doesn't open until 9am though, so I had to kill some time chopping trees for foraging XP. 
Ooh, that's good. I found a barn from level three foraging. Four times experience multiplier go brr. Along with the friendship multiplier, we do have a four times experience multiplier. Kaido prepares his fields and plants down his mixed seeds, which are all indeed eggplant seeds. He begins to auto sleep as they take five days to grow. Meanwhile, my time hits nine and I can finally enter the festival. I start by checking what random items the vendor sells. Ooh, we do need tokens. How are we gonna do this? The vendor has sunflower seeds and a luck bonus. The sunflower would be my first crop to grow, although they aren't real profitable. However, growing a crop for the first time is a location check and could lead to an important item. While I contemplate, I get a check from the strength minigame and Kaido gets four checks at once. One from harvesting the eggplant, three more from farming levels. The only notable reward here is the progressive mine elevator, which unlocks the next five floors on the mine elevator, which we'll see shortly. Yeah, half of what I'm gonna say is gonna be bluffing probably anyway. Was that bluffing? I don't know. I just want you to save your time, you know. No need to go to the fair. Yeah, of course. Of course, I probably should have seen what the bundles were first before, you know, this. But just in case, technically I could come back to this. Wow, what luck here. After betting on green once, I realize it'll take way too long to try to build up enough star tokens to afford the reward. I come to another important realization. Oh, we're in fall, I realized. <laughs> <laughs> It took a minute oh, to yes. kick in. The most important thing. Kaido is visiting the community center for the first time, which can be accessed after day five. This is probably the best thing to do right away, as it is the goal. But first you need to investigate a bundle, then you'll receive a letter from the wizard so you can visit his tower to learn how to decipher the bundles and finally know what items you'll need to complete them. I completed the introductions quest and unlocked garlic seeds. Not useful right now, as they can only be grown in spring. Did you choose cat or dog, Kaido? I think I chose dog. I think cat saves like 0.5 seconds of time because it meows less times than the dog barks. <laughs> that 0.5 <laughs> seconds is going to give me the edge for victory. Can it be the difference maker? If you win by 0.5 seconds, I'll admit the superiority of cats. Kaido makes his way over to the wizard tower, but has bad timing as buildings are closed on festival days, and he's now on the day of the Stardew Valley Fair. I head up to the place where I think I might get an edge over Kaido, the mines. All right, what do we got here? <gasps> That's good. I bet Kaido's already found that, like, eternity ago. I bet everyone in my chat is laughing at how much you overestimate me. I do see two lols. <laughs> okay, didn't have to laugh so early. Ooh, we going gambling. That could mean many Rez things to Kaido kid. Rezl says, when I do this with you guys, it's gonna be weird because I have the speedrun knowledge and the AP knowledge. Yeah, but now we have the experience and you don't. I have no speedrun knowledge, if I'm being honest. I know how to min-max, but that's like pretty much the opposite of speedrun. Yeah, you have slow run knowledge. <laughs> Prophet says we're also laughing at how both of you are underestimating how long this will take. Oh, this will definitely take no more than six hours. The community center, all the bundles require one less item. I think that's a big factor. Getting some good stuff here. Prophet says it can be done that fast, but he doesn't think he'll do it that fast. <laughs> Let's prove him wrong. This has become a battle against chat. <laughs> we're gonna prove chat wrong. <laughs> I got a combat level from floor 10 and a foraging level from the treasure chest. That's right, although we've been leveling up our skill XP, all that does is get us new checks. If we actually want our skill levels, we'll have to find them randomly. Nothing good at the mines, by the way. Should skip the mines. Yeah, sure. Of course there's nothing good there. It's just like 100 checks. Don't waste your time at the mines. Just grind out like forging level 10 or something. I think something good's behind that. The mines are a great place to complete many checks at once since there's a check from making it every five floors and a check from the treasure chests every 10 floors. The mines are also the best place to rack up combat and mining XP. I feel like all of the levels are good early checks. I mean, there's probably a whole bunch I probably should be doing, but look, we're getting a whole bunch of checks at once here. Since the first few levels don't require many points, it's good to check them early. Level one is reached at 100 XP, but you need a whopping 15,000 total XP for level 10, the maximum. Our four times experience multiplier is essential here, as normally these skills are meant to be leveled over an entire game of Stardew. It helps keep the race fast paced and focused on finding the optimal path forward towards the goal instead of grinding out checks. I ran out of energy, forcing me to leave the mines. I stopped at Robin's to build my free barn I found earlier and also take a peek at what she's selling. Ooh, fancy. Um, anything else? Ooh, ooh. 
oozing eyes. Not gonna say where I am, but... Robin offered the fishing rod as the coop blueprint, progressive barn as the fish pond blueprint, and the desert warp obelisk as the big barn blueprint. I'm able to view the big barn blueprint here since I unlocked the first barn, but I won't be able to view other blueprints until I unlock their precedents. For instance, I need the shed to view the big shed blueprint. Meanwhile, Kaido decided to grind out star tokens at the festival, likely for the sunflower seeds. I should also mention Kaido and I were both streaming our runs, but weren't allowed to look at chat, so Hweep or Danny here agreed to moderate and read our chat messages. Professor Bite says, don't read the select. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Ravio 4s. <fours. laughs> wow. <laughs> huh? What happened? <laughs> I realized I hadn't checked the beach yet where my bamboo pole was a chest and training rod was a watering can upgrade. The copper can and hoe I got earlier are actually kind of bad since they can't be used as quickly with animation cancelling. But hey, they are points towards a hint and I'll now be able to view the steel can and hoe from Clint, which could be important items. What day are you on, Kaido? I'm still at the stupid fair. Betting green is not working out. Uh, you just had your day one. I'll be honest, I skipped yeah. over betting green. We both know that there's sunflower seeds though, so you're going for the sunflower seeds? I'm obviously going for the sunflower seeds <laughs> i'm not letting these go we're in fall <laughs> well i can do another fall you know so you may have noticed when we complete checks and receive items they aren't actually given to us right away we'll actually get them the next day from our mailboxes kaido eventually earned enough star tokens and bought the sunflower seeds i crafted a furnace completing a quest to unlock the grape starter this was exciting as it was my first fall seed i also began smelting copper and then spent some time gathering wood eager to buy the fishing pole from robin right, we're just playing the gather wood game i definitely don't need wood for anything good kaido did meet the wizard and i got the tulip seed from the smelting quest the tulip grows in spring and the hot pepper from combat level one earlier grows in summer so grapes it was to be honest i still don't know what's at clint usually there's a guy there that opens gym oh yeah, I think that's where the blacksmith lives. Yeah, that would make sense. I still don't know what the bundles require. I hope one of them's a scorpion tarp. <laughs> That'll be fun. It'll be a race to catch that at the end. Kaido could now check the bundles and see a scorpion carp was indeed required for the specialty fish bundle. However, to allow for more flexibility and for sake of time, we have a cheaper bundles option, meaning all bundles require one less item, so we could just use the other three fish for that bundle. Kaido harvests his sunflower, and lucky for me, the item is just a resource pack of key seasoning. Since there are many checks throughout the game and not as many essential items, there does have to be some filler items, which are sometimes useful, sometimes not. Vincent will be happy with our mixed seed loadout, I guess. Got those sunflower seeds yet? What's a sunflower seed? Um, I don't know, something about baseball players. <laughs> I'm finally at Pierre's. I'm gonna laugh if something's good behind this pack upgrade. Oh, the funny emoticon. I just realized. Because <laughs> I assume you got the whole a... month without farming anything. Who knows? I might have the ancient seed unlocked already. While I investigate the community center for the first time, Kaido heads towards the mines. I realize now it was smarter to wait a bit for the mines, as he already has one progressive mine elevator, meaning he can travel down to floor five immediately and get that check. I make a stop at Clint to see if he's offering anything good. The iron watering can upgrade turns out to be the traveling merchant for Wednesday. Buying this would allow the cart to appear every Wednesday in the forest and offer a selection of items, including three units unique checks. I remember there being something good at Robin's. That stuff I'm not worried about talking about because I assume Kaido has seen what Robin has at this point and Clint and all the others. No, I screwed up. When you get an item, you only get it tomorrow. I assume you've seen what's at the mines and I was really hoping to have that backpack space. Yeah, I told you not to go to the mines. Uh, what was I doing? Sleep and then wizard. Have Neither you of you actually the... been to the community center yet? I was wondering that if Kaido had seen the bundles yet. I have not. He's keeping quiet. Kaido chooses to keep quiet, yeah. How are you gonna finish in four hours if you don't even know what you need? There are some things that you probably need no matter what. Turns out Kaido had not checked Robin's or Clint's yet, so while I met the wizard to finally view the bundles, Kaido exited the mines and viewed what Robin has to offer. He also wanted to view what Clint had, but couldn't due to the Spirit Sea Festival, which doesn't open until 10 p.m. Also, I keep screwing myself over. I sleep to a festival, and then I can't go in town. All right, I'm using my first hint. My loudmouth strikes again, as right after I said I was hinting, Kaido proceeds to use his hint. Kaido hints a new season, like any reasonable person would, and I decided to hint.
parsnip seeds. Did I just do what I think I did? Don't tell Kaido what I just did. <laughs> what did you do? Don't tell Kaido what I just <laughs> did, please. Uh -huh. Please don't. Now hear me out for a moment. One of our starting hints was of the greenhouse, located at the Raising Animals quest. Completing this quest requires building a coop, but to actually receive this quest in the first place, you need to complete the Getting Started quest, which requires cultivating a parsnip. Let's not talk about the fact that I needed spring first to grow a parsnip anyway, but the actual location of the seeds were already visible. The reward for completing every crafts room bundle. Have you done a hint yet? Yes, I've done a hint, but it's not a stupid one. I finished my first bundle, fall foraging, and received blue jazz seeds. I still don't know what you hinted. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything. I had three unique spring seeds now. Almost seemed like the next logical season would be spring, but I still had no idea where spring was. Couldn't be from some easy check, right? I hinted parsnip seeds. <laughs> I hinted parsnip <laughs> seeds. Have you seen the community center yet? I have seen the community center yet. So yeah, we're not going to talk about that. The spirit seed chest was randomized and Kaido found... You cannot be serious. It's highly unlikely, but there's always a chance a location has its vanilla reward. Did something good happen to Kaido Kid? Yes, something very, very good happened. <laughs> oh, I guess I have to do the spirit seed festival. Unless it's a <laughs> trap. Oh no. Now I need to know if I call the bluff or not. Where the heck is Elliot now? I need to meet him at this festival. I somehow missed him at the fair. Ah, oh, thank you. This is actually, well, I wouldn't say good, but... Kaido finally finished his introductions quest and didn't mind the garlic seed since he knew he'd be entering spring the next month. I sold some fall forge to afford the coop blueprint from Robin, which was a progressive fishing rod. I don't know if this was the right move to use my money on, but I have to do something. I assumed Kaido wouldn't go after the fishing rod early, so I thought maybe if there was something good behind early fishing checks, I could gain an advantage. The hardest part of the race was definitely deciding what to actually spend my time on, as there were so many different checks to complete. I slept through my first month of fall and entered another fall. Wow, I just realized, now. oh my god, on this version we see the... <laughs> oh, they're right there! It's a trap? <laughs> the parsnip seeds are right there! <laughs> you could see oh, them! Oh, you didn't... Oh, yeah, that's the whole point! I also didn't check that, but now that I see it, it's even funnier. Kaido completed his first bundle, Fall Foraging. At this point, we're on a pretty level playing field with pretty much the same checks done, except Kaido wasted lots of time gambling for star tokens at the fair and lots of time waiting around for the Spirit Sea Festival. I, on the other hand, wasted my time chopping trees and stone for the fishing rod and a lot of wandering around aimlessly. I also likely spent too much time at the mines. I have one mine elevator. I think I'm here for coal. I just need coal. I can smelt stuff. Kaido returned Linus's basket and received the second pack upgrade. Ooh, that's good, that's good. He once again decided to mine on the day he found the extra inventory space, but this time it is essential that he does because he's on the final day of the season and it'd be nice to enter a new one as opposed to another fall. Well, luckily Kaido was way smarter with his hint than I was and can easily unlock spring from combat level two. Oh, of course I run into a monster floor. I typically avoid clearing enemy floors as it takes a lot of time. However, since spring was behind combat level 2, I decide to... Oh wait, I wasted my hint. If I just slain one or two more slimes, I could have found spring and gotten back on pace with Kaido, but I still had no idea where the next season was. Abigail, stop playing the flute, I don't have time for this. Unlocking the Adventurer's Guild is just always randomized, I assume. I don't know if this will do us any good, but sure. Oh, I found an no advantage on the dog. Where am I going? Oh, I was gonna you check. Sleeping in my way, but uh, since he runs fast, it didn't take too much time to move away. Kaido sleeps and enters spring. Well, of course, I get a cockle on the beach. I don't get the ones I actually want. Cockle always oh. seems to be the rarest one. Thanks for the reminder. I actually never went to the beach. I should do that. You didn't get the bamboo pole cutscene? <laughs> I did not. I even have a beach obelisk. I should just build that one. Kaido decided to build the free beach obelisk he found and use that to warp to the beach and see what's there for the first time. Oh, a free chest. That's good. I don't have any hardwood. All right, Robin, have an eggplant. No, nope. have. I gave Robin a single piece of wood to complete the How to Win Friends quest. This puts me at 30 checks, meaning I can hint again. Blackberry season. Give Linus his basket yet? Yes. You say that as if I'm still in follow. <laughs> oh, you found a what season, you didn't you? What are you doing still in follow? What, did you hint the parsnip seed? Kaido got a bunch of checks at once harvesting spring crops, including two fruit tree saplings and a darkness trap. You could be bluffing, but I don't know. I don't know what else I would have hinted. <laughs> a season? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, now you gave me the idea at least. Can I even? I'm hoping right now? you already had it because that one is very obvious. I can hint now. Hint spring. Really? <laughs> 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 really? See, with that kind of reaction, I know you hinted it for real. I can't fake that kind of reaction. It would be great if I could. I'm surprised with the experience multiplier that I haven't even just gotten that naturally. I went to the mines a couple times. I think I'm just used to avoiding enemies. Wow, Kaido kids, you know, having a good time in the spring right now. I specifically went to the mines on the 28 mm -hmm. and got it just before switching season because that would be stupid to do fall again, right? Wow, that's a really early spring. It's a really dark community center. Oh, I have a dark trap. I didn't even notice. Kaido completed the spring foraging bundle and received the cudgel, a club, far superior to any dagger. One time I'm looking for enemies in the mines is when there's no enemies spawning. Oh, someone turned the lights back on. Well, at least I might get some more checks. Ooh, wow, level two combat with spring. That's crazy. I feel like if I got that before you, I probably would have spoiled it anyway on accident. Kaido also bought the first vault bundle for 2,000 gold. The vault bundles are 20% cheaper with the cheaper bundles option. Fun fact about the game code. When you move from fall to spring directly, weeds, they don't die, they stay there. So that you have orange weeds, like the fall textured ones, and you have green ones, the new ones. And that's because the game assumes that if you enter spring, you coming from winter and all the weeds mm. were dead so it doesn't actually clean them up technically a bug but i really don't care oh i did get something good well first i got the painting here and well, that is something good i got the second backpack upgrade about time yeah i assumed you had that i've had that for quite a while yes there better not be anything good behind the sunflower seeds i'm skipping those again okay sure as you wish got the stone yeah, owl statue they feel a lot less rare because of the so much mm -hmm. sleep i was about to go to town but i happened to just just auto sleep for the day of the festival. I can always loop back to fall. I'm just gonna go to spring. I was banking on the hope there was nothing good behind sunflower seeds or the spirit seed festival. I couldn't waste any time on those. My only chance to catch up was to go straight into spring. Oh wow, that's a lot of grass. I'm finally in spring and I decide to chop down trees. I wonder if I'm even good enough to win the egg hunt without movement speed. Pierre sold Kaido a progressive coop at the egg festival. Oh yeah, I just noticed now that all my like weeds on the farm, they look like fall ones. That's gonna apply to the ones everywhere. That's until fine. you move to summer and then they get destroyed. Come on, Lewis. Tight schedule here. What business are you dealing with, kid? Lewis? Well, he's saying go for the egg. Oh yeah, he's, you're at the He's not saying festival. it really quickly. Let me know if I should do the egg festival or not. Yeah, sure. I think you should skip it. I don't know what it gives yet, but what are the odds that it's good? Really low, right? Yeah, that is true. You should go back to fall, actually. Yeah, I can just keep growing grapes. My friend Vincent, maybe get something good from that. I just realized that I'm stupid. I planted the grape starter, but I think it was like on the 27th or something, so I never got a grape. Oh, you should go back and get the check from growing the grape. Yeah, uh, of course, I should do that. Come on, Lewis, just tell me I won. I never stood a chance. Their little legs. Kaido won a foraging level from the egg hunt. Meanwhile, I planted down the free samples of garlic, blue jazz, and tulip seeds that I had unlocked. And I just need to get stuff out of my inventory here and hopefully get like a couple bundles completed from doing so. I wish Fraz was still here so I could ask her if the old statue is on base and the seed because I just got mine and I'm wondering if that's a sign that you're ahead. It is seeded, yeah. Night events are oh, part but... of like the game seed so we would both get the owl statue. But I did two falls. Did you only do one fall? Yeah, I only did one fall. Yeah, so that's uh, why. So it's, it's based on the number of days, that makes sense. I was able to complete the blacksmith bundle with copper and quartz and then the adventurer's bundle with some coal. I think it's definitely good we did one less community center. I think it was one of the best ideas that people gave me when I was working the random. Which setting? Um, Cheaper bundles. The... Because not only does it make it much faster, just not having to get everything is insane, but giving the player a choice, it's really good design. Yeah. Oh no, it's Tuesday. Uh, Robin, I... don't go to Zumba. I need you. Do the cool <laughs> start spring forging, I can do that real quick. Anything good from the spring foraging bundle? Uh, yes, yes, it's very, very good. You should okay, do it. I'll do that right now. Here's a real time example of me getting sidetracked. The real question is, what was I doing right now? I'm gonna Not waste yet, time right? and grind out fishing levels. Come on, Robin, get out of bed. It's Zumba day. Get to burn up those calories. All right. Anything good from this? Very good use. Not gonna say what the thing I used was, but very good use. <laughs> Oh boy. Kaido must have thought I used another hint, as after hearing that, he proceeded to hint Summer, located at level 10 farming. He did finally buy that silo from Robin, which was one of his starting hints. Putting all my faith in fishing here. Vanessa says, just stealing Robin's trees. Ooh, what you collecting <laughs> wood for? To give it back to Robin as a gift, of course. Yeah, I gave Robin a piece of wood earlier. 
Ooh, thank you. Uh, just regular wood, not hardwood. I don't have access to hardwood yet. And quite a few resource packs. Nothing good from the first two fishing levels. All right, that's enough fishing. I'm already here at fishing level 10. <laughs> I don't even have a fishing rod. You can get a fishing rod. We both still hadn't found a very high selling crop and remained limited to the land our starting sprinklers covered. Although basic sprinklers can be crafted at farming level 2, it likely wasn't worth the time to gather copper and iron to craft them, and definitely not worth the time to water crops by hand. Maybe I'll go to the festival, three new checks from the new crops, bring festivals on the... I should have checked the calendar. I should be able to also tell from the... I was gonna say, I should be able to tell from the weather on the TV, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. What TV? Even the TV channels were random items to find. Okay, it's the 13th. I harvested my spring crops. Am I tied on paintings yet? I got three paintings. In addition to both having three Lupini paintings now, Kaito and I were now tied at the number of checks completed. Oh, I should have planted these earlier. That was a little silly, but oh well. Guess I'm chopping trees until the festival. While I wait for the egg festival, Kaido enters the flower dance and sees Pierre is selling the red cabbage seeds for 2,500 gold. He can't afford them, but it looks like the red cabbage isn't needed in any bundles, luckily. Kaido asks Abigail to dance with him, and I'm still chopping trees. Well, now I have four paintings. He got a worm bin from the dance. Well, I will need wood for Robin checks at some point, so never a waste of time to chop trees. While we were close on number of checks, Kaido still had quite an advantage over me due to my wasted hint. Oh, one more check and I can get another hint. Have you done a... oh wait, obviously you've done two hints because I'm technically one hint behind. Have you got a third hint yet? Yet again, I reminded Kaido to use his hint. Maybe. 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 Kaido can know where all four seasons are. I can only assume that. I entered the festival and found my coop. Egg hunt. Vegan. How many eggs did you get? All of them. All of them. All of them. You need a movement speed bonus for that to be possible. We were neck and neck on checks again, but Kaido now knew where both summer and winter were located. Winter was at the fresh fruit quest, which requires giving Emily an apricot, which was one of the saplings we both found. 13 eggs. I think I only got 10. Not bad. I think you only need like 7 to beat Abigail. She just never had competition before. Oh, with that? Oh, I get sent home right away? Interesting. I didn't realize that. Sure hope you didn't forget to check the shop. I checked the shop. Kaido's petting of Marnie finally paid off and he retrieved the lucky purple shorts. He was a good citizen and returned them straight away and got some summer spangle seeds in return. He then proceeded to construct his silo. I used my third hint to locate summer at farming level 10. I can do that. That's doable. That was an okay use of a hint, I think. For a clearly brilliant reason, Kaido decides to show off his dark talisman and say hi to the goblin. Ooh, I got my first trash can upgrade. It's the only way to make money. I need a way to make money right now. Kaido kid's probably already in like summer right now. Kaido finished his spring and chose to go into fall again. Oh wait, it's Sunday. Sunday's the worst day to find forageables. I'm gonna sleep till Saturday. Flower dance I think is day 20 something. Question is, do I have to dance with someone for a check? There's one check for each bachelor. You need to do the festival eight times. <laughs> that would be brutal. My assumption would be I wouldn't have to dance with anybody or maybe just dance with one person. Rob asks, why is Sunday bad for forage? Forageables will build up on each map. They will reset set from Saturday to Sunday. Oh, as I said I was gonna check for forageables, I just skipped past Saturday. Maybe I should have an auto petter going somewhere. Have you placed an auto petter down? So you remember when I said something about uh, day one is the most important? Oh, because you need to level up someone for dancing at the flower festival. I can think of another reason. Really? No leaks? Prop Bide says multi-sleep doesn't give your animals enough time to eat though, so they will get upset at you. True. Which is why I don't get probably into the silo. I dropped off some items at the community center, but still needed either a leek or a horseradish to complete the spring foraging bundle. Wow, still no leek or wild horseradish. Still haven't even done the spring foraging bundle. Kaido made it sound like it was something bad though. He said I should definitely do it. Alright, Peter, I don't have any money, but I don't think you have any checks here. We could dance with Linus. He's the only one we have hearts with. You, you scrolled over a check I in did. the shop. Yeah, oh, I but <laughs> I would have never came back to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, I don't have enough. That's the game. I don't have enough money for it anyway. He, he's scrolling think. through and says, "Oh, there's no check." As he passes <laughs> the check. 
Kaido kid's aware that I have a habit of not reading. Alright, well, I guess we're not dancing with anybody today. Oh, that's so sad. Good use of the flower festival here. So no money for the check, no hearts for the dance. I need to dance with Why someone you... for that check. <laughs> Why did you come here anyway? I was thinking maybe I didn't need to dance with someone. I yeah, also didn't know how here? much the rare crow costed. I haven't heard anything about any chats for a while. Did everyone leave because we're too bad? Yeah, nobody's here anymore. No, right. there's just been no chats recently. We have uh, seven viewers in both streams. To be fair, Stardew's not really a fast-paced game, but I think it's still fun to race. Kaido Kid's probably way ahead. How um, many checks did you get so far? I think I've done three hints. I've done three hints and I have two extra, so I've done 47. Oh wow, I have two points, so that means we're at exact same amount of checks. I don't think we did the same checks. I don't think we did the same exact checks, but the same amount. Saturday, I wanted Saturday for... I, I just need to get the leak or Wild Horse Radish. I need something to stop this grass from growing. I guess I could place down paths. Pretty sure this will... You can hint gold inside. Oh yeah, that'd be a good use. There, now no grass will interfere with my trees. That's what they want you to think. Okay, um, let's find a leak or horseradish. Oh, I forgot I could go into Joja if I want to buy seeds. But the horseradish will complete a bundle, so let's go do that. Kaido Kid's been hyping up the spring foraging bundle, I know, so... So obviously that means it's something good. I want to get him to reveal what it is so I don't waste my time. <laughs> Bold of you to assume I remember. <laughs> that means it's not something good. Watch, he probably hasn't even done it yet. Oh, the cudgel. It's a club. That is actually something pretty good. Oh, then I, I did do it because that's the weapon I've been using for a yeah. while. <laughs> Kaido bought some seeds to both make money and slowly rack up XP for farming level 10. The one upper hand I feel like I would have is the mines, so maybe I should go to the mines. I wanted to go uh, see Robin, get a check. She wasn't open, so I went to the mines mm -hmm. in the meantime, and I did five floors, and then when I went to Robin for the check, it was an elevator. Oh. So the five floors are completely pointless. Because mm -hmm. now I could just go back to the mine yeah. and just get that same elevator check. Mm -hmm. I got scammed, but that's all right. No muscle. I need a muscle. Go What's to the gym. The gym. <laughs> Good timing. I sold some beach forge to Willy for some extra gold because for some reason I refused to plant a bunch of crops like Kaido has done now. I still can't believe you started us on 5k gold. Is that a small amount? That's not a lot of gold. <laughs> I spent my money on a fishing rod, but it was well worth it. I'm not sure if the crop fairy that I just got is actually lucky. kind of wish the cutscene didn't take five years. I was just about to go to the mines, but I just realized I got a club. I have to sleep. Yes, the mines aren't a bad idea. Wait, wait, where am I going? Might as well chop some trees passively. Who knows, it could be winter or summer or something at like forging level 10. Stop chopping trees and do something useful. Did you get Mary Lewis's shorts? Did you not? Definitely not walking back to my farm to grab an auto petter to place in Marnie's house. That's actually literally what I did on day one. I placed Marnie's. another another petter for the dance and another petter for the shorts. I placed one on my barn. Yet I had no animals, so I finally bought a cow after placing my auto petter at Marnie's. Oh wait, leaks can't be found down here. I did want to come down here for something else though. Right here. Color of the tree for some reason. I think it's because of the rain. Looked like a mahogany tree. Oh, you unlocked rain already? Is rain gonna be a randomization in the future? That would be that's actually a great idea. I you should do that. I think that's possible. Because like, you can lock some checks behind it, like marriage needs rain. Lots of fish can only be caught during the rain. Do ball again. I hope it's probably in like summer. He's in the secret fifth season. I'm gonna go to the mines and make it to floor 120. <laughs> yeah, do that. Oh, I don't have anything to heal. That's gonna be a problem. If I'm gonna do a mind run, I need energy restoring items. But while I'm up here, I wanna talk to Robin. Good fish and just eat the chubs. Love eating chubs. Need to kill some time until Robin's open anyway. I know Kaido hasn't fished yet, so maybe this will give me an edge. You think I'm bluffing about the fishing rod? Yes, you're progressing through the days at about the same pace as me, which means you're not fishing. Fishing takes a while. Yeah, I'm a pretty good fisher. Nah, uh, I'm gonna call bullshit, you don't have it. Calling BS and saying I don't have the fishing rod? That's my bet. Uh, Robin's will be open soon. But I do want to get a fishing level. Oh, that's pretty fitting. I got a sailor's cap from fishing level 3. I don't think you would be uh, knowledgeable <laughs> enough to bluff that, so... Kaido Kid thinks I'm just, like, making all this random stuff up while I'm, uh, like, this, in the mines this, or something. This one you're not making up and I don't like it. I wish you were making it up. Oh, I got a well from something down the line. Kaido escorted a single apple over to the community center. He also entered the blacksmith shop for the first time and only now discovered what Clint had to offer. To be fair, even though I checked Clint much earlier, I had certainly forgotten what he had, including the first traveling merchant unlock, which would have been very nice early on. I got an elevator from Robin's Lost Axe and another one from the well blueprint. 
Oh, I see where you're talking about Robin had a progressive mine elevator. Uh, that's immediate though, so I can just go do that right now. Although I wanted to sleep until Blackberry season before I do the mines. Please just go to the mines. Kaido got a lucky cauliflower in the mail from Caroline and re-gifted it to Jody for a quest and got even more lucky with his first traveling merchant for Friday. He sold a bunch of crops to Pierre and could now afford the 4,000 gold vault bundle. However, he was going for the fishing rod from Robin, but needed more stone. I still don't know why my apple tree is not growing. Does anybody know why my apple tree is not growing? Is it because the there's an auto grabber grabbing it? Because of the path? <laughs> <laughs> Kaido got some rather trashy rewards from mine floor 25 and level 5 mining. That's it. I'm going to the beach and clay farming. I've had enough. <laughs> Turns out saplings won't grow with anything placed next to them, including paths. So I made a larger barrier to block grass from growing near the trees. Hello, Robin. I have a fishing rod to buy. I use my starting money on that fishing rod. Really? I just got the stones I needed. Did you keep going to the mines all the time like last time? Uh, not too frequently, actually. Yeah, more like not frequent enough. Kaido used his fourth hint to locate a movement speed bonus at the 4,000 gold vault bundle. Too bad he wasted his money on that fishing rod. I had wasted so much time chopping trees, I had already reached foraging level 7 and found my trash reward. Oh, that was the worst decision of my life. I'm curious as to what's happening. I spent a lot of money on uh, regrowing crops, and then I did not repeat fall. That was stupid. Kaido entered another spring, and his crops had indeed wilted. His apricot tree was fully grown and gave him the next fishing rod. Oh, I went to the beach to get some clay. And I didn't even do that. I'm wasting all my time dropping stuff off at the community center without completing anything. Be fair, it will save <laughs> me time looking back because then it's just like done and I won't forget about it. Kaido caught his first fish while I farmed clay for the construction bundle. I think I messed up my clay pattern already. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. It's okay, I forgive you. I'm like very unefficiently clay farming right now. I think I have enough clay though, but we'll do one more line of clay here and then it should be good. Apparently Kaido found an ancient seed and since we didn't shuffle the museum, he received the plantable ancient seed from Gunther. Well that completes a bundle and then I also needed more stone. I think the best way I get stone right now is probably the stone nodes that are on the bottom of the farm. In addition to clay for the bundle, I farmed enough for the silo blueprint, which was a luck bonus. I wanted that before going to the mines, but I needed more stone for the blueprint. Hmm, I wonder where else I could have gone to gather stone. I still need more stone, I think. Okay, maybe I just do the mines first, and then I have enough stone for that. But I wanted the, uh... There's no clear order to do everything in. Meanwhile, Kaido delivered an apricot to Emily in exchange for winter. He picked up his auto petter from Marnie's, visited the traveling cart for starfruit seeds, and got to my level of lupini collecting. Oh, I'm on year two. Kent just said hello. Oh, that means the price is increased. I should have bought a bunch of coal. Yeah, I was pretty stubborn about that luck bonus before the mine, so I auto slept just for my mini quarry to replenish. You got your fishing rod yet? Yes, I even have two of them now. I want a better fishing rod. <laughs> You don't need it. To catch certain fish, I technically do need the bamboo rod, because the training rod can only catch basic fish. Oh, I finally got this. Oh, that's where you got your second fishing rod. Okay, let's sleep for that. Oh, I still need a leak. Here's our first leak, finally. And then I think I can get a few quests done now. Kaido found the next watering can from the cart and noticed she was selling some lobsters, which are needed for a bundle and a quest, but Kaido didn't have enough money. Oh, there's bubbles. I have to fish. Can't pass over bubbles here. I forgot how small my fishing bar is with no fishing levels. Kaido sold a bunch of stuff to Pierre, likely to afford those lobsters. He also gave Granny a leak and completed the exotic foraging bundle, both giving farming levels. He returned to the cart and bought his lobsters. Oh, today's Tuesday. That's where Emily is. Aerobics. I was super excited to find winter without even hinting it. Although this made up for my first hint, I had a long way to go to catch up with Kaido. I used my clay to complete the construction bundle. Oh, I can't react. I have to stay, I have to stay calm. Definitely didn't get anything good. I found the return scepter, an item that would allow me to teleport back to the farm from wherever I was, whenever. Maybe this huge time saver would give me a slight edge if Kaido sleeps on his construction bundle. Hold on, what's going on here? Kaido got a parsnip in the mail from Caroline, which completes his getting started quest. Don't forget this parsnip. How many seasons do you have, Kaido? I have all of them. That's, that's fair. I believe you, actually. I, I believe you. I don't think you believe me. No, I believe you. I actually believe you. Um, I don't believe that you believe me. 
I would think more realistically you had three out of four, but I don't doubt you. I just want the shipping bin. Maybe I should hint the shipping bin. I found my first traveling merchant for Saturday from level six mining. Kaido had been spending some time fishing and completed the crab pot bundle. I need more coal. I think like at least 30 minutes ago, I said I was gonna do like a mines run and still haven't gotten around to doing that. I believe that was over an hour ago. For some reason, my focus now shifted to wooing someone for the flower dance. I could do Shane though, but Emily, I have love gifts for. One love gift should give me at four hearts. Kaido's lobster for Gus ended up paying off as it unlocked the galaxy dagger. Saying doing the mines is gonna be like my advantage, but I still haven't gone to the mines. Then quit flirting with Emily and go to the mines. Meanwhile, Kaido got his last item from the cart for Friday, the minecart's repair, which was one of his starting hints. I wasted even more time fishing while waiting for Emily's house to open. I feel like Kaido could probably hinted a movement speed bonus, but it's locked behind something way late game. That's my guess. Kaido crafted a scarecrow to complete the advancement quest. That quest, along with the raising animals quest, aren't actually given to you until you complete the getting started quest. Remember how Kaido got that parsnip in the mail? Since that completed his getting started, he now had the raising animals quest, which requires construction of a coop. However, he already had a coop, so this quest wasn't immediately completed, but for some reason, after auto-sleeping to a new season, this quest was fulfilled and Kaido received his greenhouse. He slept right away for it and planted his summer seeds and ancient fruit seeds inside. While Kaido was making big moves... We can dance with Haley finally. I mean, not Haley, Emily, her sister, wrong one. I also used my fourth hint to locate a movement speed bonus at the 4,000 gold vault bundle. Kaido auto slept another month to grow his greenhouse seeds and entered his first winter. He harvested the crops for a luck bonus and his second fishing level, which will come in handy later on. Have you found any tool upgrades, Kaido? Very few, that's uh, really annoying. No axe, no big axe. Same here. Well, what about trash can? I got trash cans, watering cans, and holes. They're useless ones, basically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't have the shipping bin, so the trash can might be our only way to sell some certain items. Trees growing on my mini quarry. That ain't right. Kaido spooked the shadow guy and wasted some more time dropping nothing off at the community center while I wasted time at the flower dance. Once I get going in the mines, it's over. It's over. You guys just have to get good. I have all four seasons now. You have all four seasons? Really? Yeah, you have all four seasons, so you know it's doable. I don't have all four seasons. I wish I did. <laughs> I didn't form enough. Never mind, I guess he completed the adventurer's bundle with some coal after all this time. I, however, was about to find the amazing reward hidden behind the flower dance. Well, hopefully... Really? I did this for the worm bin? No courtesy no. warning. <laughs> You did it for love. <laughs> yeah, I did it for Emily. While we're on the topic of love, Kaido consoles the shadow guy for the beach bridge, which will let him buy the mermaid pendant and marry someone. I think he's got his eye on Abigail. Well, hopefully growing the red cabbage seeds isn't needed for anything, because I went another flower dance without having enough money for those. I got something else I want to spend money on, though. I finally entered my first winter. Saturday for forageables, and then I'm going to actually, this time I promise, do the mines. Oh, they're getting sidetracked. But there was something I need to do before I go to the mines. See that in one moment here after I hibernate through winter. All right, it was reasonable to want that luck bonus before the mines, but the flower dance was a huge waste of time. I'm doing winter for the music. Somebody suggested I should make the music randomizer. Like, you need to unlock the songs. That would be interesting. <laughs> it's just mute at the start. Yeah, you sounds. unlock every single song, but also every single sound. Implement unlocking sprites, too. It's just a black screen at the start. <laughs> All right, well, first thing to do in any new season, I guess, is the forgeable bundle. Oh wait, it's Sunday. I slept till Sunday. Imagine being bad at math. I further delayed the mines to wander the forest for winter forage. Kaido attends the Festival of Ice and sees the Snowman Rare Crow check as the traveling merchant for Tuesday, but can't afford it. While he fished, I finished the winter foraging bundle, and my sidetracking for once sort of paid off as I found another elevator, which are always good to find before going to the mines. Kaido caught four fish, but somehow lost the competition to the man who fishes all day and never gets a single bite. I can't believe I screwed that up. <laughs> What'd you screw up? Nothing. Stop judging me. Did you fail the ice festival or something? Maybe. I mean, it's just RNG. <laughs> I, I caught every fish that that bite. I know. <laughs> they didn't bite. <laughs> what a scam. It's okay. I don't want to repeat. Kaido was so embarrassed from his loss, he had to shut down his stream and take a moment to reflect. Meanwhile, I finally got the luck bonus from the silo blueprint. Luck bonus before the mines. That's why I've been delaying the mines for so long. I have this random pizza in my inventory that I don't know what to do with. 
Gotta find Shane. Pedo, are you there? Your stream stopped. Uh, it's it's back up. Back, yes. Hello. My internet went out for a minute or so. While Kaido was hiding, he had completed the 4,000 gold vault bundle for a movement speed bonus. Legend says it looked something like this. Um, when is the Festival of Ice? Did I skip it? I think I skipped it. It's like the 8th or something. I definitely slept through the Festival of Ice. Smart. I could save up for the fortune teller and do that before I go to the mine, but I think that was like a really expensive upgrade from Robin. So that's obviously not reasonable. While I'm hopefully preparing for the mines, Kaido hints the shipping bin located at harvesting a melon, which we don't know where the seeds are. Hold on, what's this? Am I actually going to the mines? At this point, I probably have more progressive mine elevators where I can just get some free checks. I did indeed at least get the checks from floor 20 and 25 for free with my elevator. I got the queen of the sauce. I told you, I've been avoiding the mines. I remember you said you were going to the mines on like spring 1st. Yeah, probably. Kaido also got a free check from his elevator on floor 35 and found the golden scythe. I found a fish pond on floor 30. Kaido made it to floor 40 and found amaranth seeds, but decided that was enough of the mines for now. Oh, so now I get the golden scythe. Kaido's got the iridium scythe. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did 1.6 already. I think that's gonna be added to 1.6. Razzle says he did a tweet which just said Iridium Scythe. Oh, then yeah, that's definitely gonna be added. Sometimes I say that I'm gonna do things and it's not true. Yeah, it could I, just I be keep, memeing. I keep talking about tile sanity, but I'm never doing that. So basically, walking on every tile in the world would be a check, but also <laughs> you can't walk on that tile until you receive them. Oh no. So you would be extremely limited in your movement. That would be by far the stupidest setting anyone has ever proposed. Did you get a coffee bean, Kaido? I did not. Did you? Yes. I didn't get the item for it, though. Dust sprites have a slim chance to drop coffee beans, which are actually a pretty profitable crop, as once grown, the coffee beans grow back every other day. I went up to Kaido and made it to floor 45 for a crystallarium, but had to leave as I had no energy items left. I guess Kaido was under the impression he couldn't enter the beach until the night market began at 5, so he just stood around waiting for a while. I skipped over the other winter festivals, but made it to the Feast of the Winter Star. Another big disadvantage of mine was having no clue what checks were at each festival. Oh, I don't know who my... Time to guess. <laughs> I don't know who my secret gift goes to. Shoot. Um, I hope that's not required to give them, like, a love gift for that to count as a check. While I ask around, Kaido hints another movement speed bonus located at completing the entire vault, which was already visible. He pulled a parsnip seeds with this one. Oh, it's Evelyn. I don't have anything Evelyn would like. Sorry, Evelyn, but... But at least I got the check from it. That's what matters. Maybe we get another one from receiving a gift? Kaido also came to the realization that the night market begins on the 15th, not the 14th. Oh my god, I messed up. I left the festival thinking there was just one check, but apparently there was another one from listening to Willie's tale. All right, let's see what grandpa has for us. But I have a way to make money now. I'm not gonna say it out loud, but I have a pretty good way to make money. While Kaido doesn't progress at the mines and slowly returns home, I waste time out of game configuring my toggle mute button on Discord so I could share my game plan out loud without Kaido hearing. I can say my game plan now while I'm muted. I'm gonna pretend like I'm muted. You know? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm not <laughs> muted. You're gonna mistake, like, unmute? Yeah, I know I'm gonna make a mistake with that. I auto slept for my coffee to grow and harvested it right away. We got the cranberry seed, let's go. They can't hear me right now, thankfully, but we got the cranberry seed. I can make money now. I was gonna make money from doing coffee here. That was my original plan. The coffee bean was out of logic, so there's a good chance Kaido didn't get that as a drop from the dust sprites. And I don't think he has a good way to make money right now, so maybe this will be the edge. I just need to keep growing coffee, I think. Harvesting coffee, because I also need farming level 10. Farming level 10 is how I unlock summer. Summer will get me the last summer foraging item needed to complete the crafts room, and the crafts room unlocks parsnip seeds. I'm finally gonna get the parsnip seeds, Kaido. You think? I think so. My plan here would have been great if it wasn't for the fact that Kaido got a parsnip in the mail to unlock his greenhouse. While my plan unfolded, Kaido fished some mayo for the goblin to return the wizard's ink and receive the next house upgrade, which is required to have kids. But I still have no money, and no good way to make money. Don't tell Kaido, kid. 
it's funny because you say a sentence like that and immediately you stop talking and I know you're speaking to your chat and you're <laughs> telling them like, he doesn't know I have a good way to make money. I'm being too <laughs> obvious about it, aren't I? That was the most predictable thing ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one and only Lupini taught Kaido his bear knowledge as I hinted my shipping bin. Kaido finally completed the blacksmith bundle. Too bad there wasn't anything essential behind that. Instead of continuing to sleep to profit off of my coffee, I sell some fish to Willy for minimal earnings and pick up some forage for level 8 to receive an iridium fireplace. Although I was ahead on all other skills, my farming skill was very lacking as I had only just reached level 5. I still had a long way to go for level 10 to unlock summer. Kaido attends his feast and finds the first pickaxe upgrade from listening to Willy's tale. I guess it helps to know where the checks are when you're the one who actually made the mod. Hopefully this is enough money to get me one pack of cranberry seeds from the Joja Mart. But anyway, I need to sell these first before I go to the Joja Mart because it's 50 seeds. So the packs are rather pricey, although it's cheaper than buying 50 seeds individually. While we are here, I'm just going to check real quick. Yeah, that's almost 10,000. I think coffee beans it is. I keep forgetting I have the Return Scepter. I actually wonder if Kaido could have the Return Scepter. Kaido's short on clay or else he would have found the Return Scepter at that very moment. Kaido, have you found the Return Scepter? No, I have not. Did you? No, no I'm just curious. All right, we're sleeping every other day here, harvesting the coffee beans. And since they regrow back so quick, this should get us to farming level 10 fairly quickly. And then I could also sell all the coffee beans at one for a decent amount of money. They do make quite a bit of profit when turned into coffee, but obviously we don't have a keg. Oh, it's dark. I continue to sleep every other day and slowly rack up coffee beans and farming XP. Kaido bought a pack of 50 eggplant seeds from Joja, which are cheaper per seed, but you're forced to buy them in bundles. He was going after farming level 10 like I was, so he did want as many seeds as he could get. I am really curious what Kaido's doing right now while I'm doing my master plan. I'm doing your master plan. Yeah, you're doing my- you're doing the same master plan. Oh, I can finally get the good mayor's shorts. Let's go. That was my master plan. Shoot. I told Kaido. Oh wow, the mayor's Sleep shorts. until I get 10 hearts with Marnie so I can finally get the mayor's shorts back. But I definitely need 10 hearts to access that door. While Kaido filled his greenhouse with eggplant seeds, I got sidetracked with the mayor's shorts. This was the first thing Kaido Kid did. Did I buy a cow? If I had bought a cow this whole time and just had it locked in, that'd make a good it in the video but i don't think i bought a cow if i go back and there's two cows the whole point of me going there was to grab the auto petter i guess the mayor's shorts as well but i was gonna pick up my auto petter while i was there it's funny because i went through the exact same process going to marnie's grabbing the shorts forgetting to take my auto petter <laughs> but like two hours ago well at least you didn't overexert yourself when you pickaxe the auto petter <laughs> hey i have some salmon berries on me so it's fine. Auto putter in here. Doubt anybody can get there because there's a chair blocking the way, so that should be adequate. Okay, if there's two cows in here, then I'm going crazy. What? You're just not good with cows, man. I'm just not good with cows. And I could have bought a chicken instead. That's something I probably actually need. While I was still sidetracked, Kaido harvested enough eggplants to reach farming level 10 and unlock summer. He sold all the crops he had grown to Pierre and bought the 8,000 gold vault bundle. I continued harvesting coffee until the end of spring and reached farming level 9. Kaido continued to harvest his eggplants to make more money. I need to continue the plan. Oh, I finally got an apple. Oh, thank God, finally. Kaido finally found some more clay. He sold his crops to Pierre and completed the 20,000 gold vault bundle to finish the entire vault, unlocking a movement speed bonus. He then dropped the clay off for the construction bundle and found his return scepter, but returned to his farm one last time the old-fashioned way. He slept and entered his first summer while I finally returned the mayor's shorts. All right. We got the money. While I sold my coffee beans, Kaido finished the summer foraging bundle, which completed the entire crafts room bundle, unlocking his parsnip seeds. Surprised he found them without hinting them. I will spend approximately 10,000 on cranberry seeds, and then of course I need to go to the vault bundle, grab the 5,000. All right, I think I'm on a good, uh, good roll right now. You're on a good roll? I'm on a good roll too. Yeah. I'll just um, rebriefing my master plan. I just got a couple of really good things. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. I love the sound of that. That's fair, I understand why you don't. My master plan is literally the same thing as Kaido Kid doing, he's just like a few steps ahead. I mean, if your master plan is playing well, then probably not what I'm doing. I bought my first two vault bundles and got a movement speed bonus. Oh, I almost forgot to do something important. The whole point of what my plan was. 
Just curious, Kaido, you have any good way to make money? Oh, well, you have some not bad ways to make money. Not bad okay. ways, okay. I'd say about the same. So I am gonna, I guess, keep going through and just gather a bunch of cranberries. And then I pretty much have as much money <laughs> as I need. What's funny here? <laughs> I hinted something and I'm never gonna get it. It's so far away. <laughs> that was the worst hint of my life. Of your life. I think there's been some more since then that... Kaido hinted a progressive axe located at mine floor 120 and completed the artisan bundle. I continued to grow my cranberry empire and after a few harvests... Finally got level 10 farming for summer. There we go. That's the first step of the plan. Plan's just begun though. We're gonna sleep five more days and then we will go into summer. What season are you in right now? I told you summer, would you believe me? Uh, I would believe you. That's where I am. Kaido harvested his parsnip to unlock the stable, and I harvested my last round of cranberries before sleeping and moving to my first summer. Kaido spent some time at the mines and found the traveling merchant for Saturday from level 6 mining. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to grab this to complete the summer foraging bundle, which unlocks the parsnip seed. So I have to go back to spring to grow that, and then I can grow a parsnip, and then after that I unlock the quest for the animals, and then I can get the greenhouse. I think that's the path that I should take right now. The greenhouse, I don't have to worry about the seasons then. Little did I know, Kaido's mailbox parsnip had given him a huge advantage for an early greenhouse. He spiked the luau soup and found a foraging level. Believe it or not, Kaido, I still don't have the silo. I'm gonna get it now though, I promise, after making a few more stops, and I'm definitely not gonna forget to do that because I'm doing all this stuff in between. Yeah, definitely not. Ooh, I can buy this. I bought the second pack upgrade for 10,000 gold and found fairy seeds, then sold all my cranberries for 40,000 gold and some other random junk to put my total on hand at 45,000. All right, clearly Kaido has done this already. I'm still gonna be quiet about it. We got the parsnip seeds and a keg. So now we could actually start brewing some coffee kind of passively just to have the movement speed bonus from it. That'll be nice. Despite having all that money now, I forgot to purchase the remaining vault bundles. I did end up purchasing the well blueprint to unlock the silo and definitely didn't warp home and walk all the way back to Robins to build it. Meanwhile, Kaido constructed his stable. I just don't know what I want to plant during summer, that's the thing. I don't have any like good regrowing seeds except for the coffee. I guess I'm gonna go back to spring so maybe... Oh, did I just... Oh no. I sold every last one of my coffee beans. I did not. I sold all of my coffee beans. Okay, it's not the end of the world but I feel kind of silly for doing that. We have a new check from the hot pepper, got a luck bonus. I'm not complaining about a luck bonus, that's pretty good. That's what I get for like bragging about having coffee. I don't actually have coffee. I got my first fishing level. The first one? Wait, really? I think so. Yeah, I, really. I have two and I'm complaining that I'm never getting any. How are you fishing on zero? Too bad there wasn't anything good at the actual beach bridge check as Kaido still hadn't done that. He bought the mermaid pendant and proposed to Abigail right away. I unlocked the rice chute from the cart and found some other good stuff. I'm gonna buy the salmon dinner here because that'll save us having to cook something. Only a thousand gold, I think that's well worth it. Sandfish is needed, so that saves us a trip to the desert. There's also a farmer's lunch, so we got pretty lucky. We got two dishes of the sandfish. Traveling cart coming in clutch here. The traveling cart can sell random items, including ones needed for bundles. Kaido and Abigail got married while I slept through the rest of summer and entered spring to grow my single parsnip seed. Finally can plant the parsnip seed. Finally harvesting a parsnip. We got the stable finally. Do I actually have to like buy another coop in order to fulfill this quest? That's gonna be annoying. I don't know how that works. I still don't know how that quest works. To be fair, normally you'd never encounter the situation that you build a coop before harvesting a parsnip. I think I'm very behind. I blame all of these quests. I'd only blame those starting quests in specific for blocking the greenhouse. While I contemplated what to do, I dropped some stuff off at the community center. Chef's bundle, we have three dishes. Oh, and we can just buy a salad from the soon. So we can, I think we can buy a fried egg, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we can complete the chef's bundle without actually cooking anything. And I ignored the vault bundle again. Meanwhile, Kaido's been farming some stuff in his greenhouse and befriending his farm animals. So there's no reason I would ever want more than one coop. So what I'm gonna try is to demolish this coop because either way, I'll have to spend the resources to create a new one. So maybe by demolishing one, I'll be given the free one. That's just wishful thinking. I am, okay. I was worth it. Didn't have to pay for the coop, okay. 
Cool. We actually got the free coop now. That'll be done in a few days. And then we have the greenhouse. Kaido had gotten really lucky with his mail as he was sent the potato, which let him finish the spring crops bundle. His intention was to auto pet Abigail, but the friendship with Caroline was the real win as she sent to the cauliflower, parsnip, and potato. Two days and the coop should be done. And then we'll finally get the greenhouse. Kaido, how long have you had the greenhouse? How long have you not had the greenhouse? I'm not asking that right now for any particular reason. Dude, that has been <laughs> bugging me for so long. I Wait, didn't know... you hint it? I needed the parsnip I... seeds for the greenhouse. I grew don't my parsnip did. seeds in my greenhouse. What the hell are you talking about? Really? You don't get the animal quest until you complete the harvest of parsnip quest. Wait, wh where was the greenhouse? I don't even remember. From building a coop. Raising animals. But you don't get the raising animal quest, I'm pretty sure, until you... Maybe Kaido got a parsnip in the mail? Yeah, I think that was it. Uh, yeah, it's just I got the greenhouse really we'll early. That explains it. Why does my greenhouse still look unrepaired? You have to sleep, yeah. There's going to be a cutscene that repairs. I already got the Junimo's cutscene. Oh, I'm getting it a second time. Okay, something there's bugged, but it should be fixed, I'm assuming, after I sleep. I definitely viewed this cutscene twice. Alright, hopefully it's there now. That means you get two greenhouses. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, that's where you yeah, get Kaido, I had to then. take the long route. I had to go through summer to unlock the parsnip seeds and grow a parsnip and do all of that. You should have just befriended Evelyn. Is that where you got a parsnip? Uh, she think... sends you some. I have no idea where I got it, but I got a parsnip real early. Yeah, so we were all clueless, but Kaido has unknowingly established the meta for racing his randomizer mod. Place the auto petter to level up friendship with Caroline, and with all the sleeping, you're bound to receive the parsnip in the mail. All the sprinklers going inside the greenhouse. Wait, so your master plan was not to sleep a lot and make a lot of money in the greenhouse? Um, it was to make a lot of money on the farm <laughs> to unlock the greenhouse. Oh, wow. This is so sad. By one mistake, I didn't befriend the townspeople. Didn't do the auto petter strategies. While waiting for the dance of the moonlight jellies to start at 10 p.m., Kaido grinded in the mines and found another pickaxe upgrade. I visited Clint and bought two copper upgrades for a progressive hoe and yam seeds. Ooh, iridium trash can upgrade. Unless we find the potato. Hail seeds are quite expensive there. I should be able to do quality crops. Summer Spangle, Amaranth, or Rice. I think we have all of those except for Kale Seeds. I think Rice is one of the cheaper ones. Spangles are 2,000, Amaranth is 2,800, so we'll do Spangles. Okay, and then just to make money, I will buy Cranberry Seeds. Kaido's mine expedition leaves him just short of 69, and he heads over to the dance. He unfortunately didn't bring enough money to afford the Seafoam Pudding Pierre cells. That gives a plus four fishing buff, which can really make a huge difference when catching difficult fish. The jellyfish bless him with a mining level. Yup, that's what he waited the entire day for and couldn't even grab the seafoam pudding. Now I can actually start doing what Kaido Kid's definitely already done and just grow all these in the greenhouse. I planted my spangle seeds in the greenhouse, which I'll need five gold star qualities of for the quality crops bundle. I definitely thought I saw the traveling cart for another day somewhere. Ooh, I can buy taxes for 2400 gold. I'm using this grand bucket scene to uh, look up a chart of fish and uh, which ones I need. <laughs> I might honestly just have to go the traveling cart strat. Renta, can you stop cutscening? That's pretty annoying. Will the traveling cart stop to sell things at some point? Because it only has one item in the inventory right now. You need stock size upgrades. Stock size upgrades. I planted rice shoots while Kaido planted amaranth seeds, both for the quality crops bundle. Since harvesting a melon unlocked the shipping bin, Kaido hinted the melon seeds located at the Pam Needs Juice Quest. All we need is five. I have gold star, so we're good on that. Kaido delivered Pam the battery pack for his melon seeds, then used a jade to complete the geologist's bundle, an entire boiler room, and unlocked poppy seeds. I harvested my spangles and planted cranberry seeds. All right, new checks, new checks. Okay, got the skull key. Full cavern now. I should really save up for the desert obelisk. All right, quality crops. Let's see what it is. Got the gold clock. Kaido found a rabbit's foot at the cart, which was needed in the animal bundle. I'm finally gonna go build the stable. Who knows how long Kaido Kids had that. And movement speed upgrades. I did finally construct the stable, but still refused to complete the vault bundle, where a movement speed bonus was visible. I entered winter for festival checks and crafted my first scarecrow. I think I found where you got one of your fishing levels. I just crafted a scarecrow. <laughs> Uh, yes, good one. Too lazy to go through all my quests here. Yeah, multi-sleep is really rough. My wife hates me. Oh, you have a wife now. Don't you? Is that a check? I can get a wife. Well, now I can't because I'm in winter. Kaido harvested some new crops for the shipping bin, Traveling Merchant Monday, and Skull Key. He was able to complete the Enchanter's Bundle with a pomegranate from his farm cave and another jade. Danny, did you already fall asleep at this point? <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, Vanessa said maybe a little bit ago the quest for hardwood is still ongoing. Damn. Oh yeah. Not easy. Neither Kaido or I can get the hardwood. Or at least I don't think so. I don't think Kaido has found the axe upgrade yet. 420 is gonna get me like something really good that Kaido won't have yet. My only hope of having a chance here. The axe upgrade we were just talking about was at floor 120 in the mind. And good timing because Kaido just found a different progressive axe from his Monday merchant. He finally got the beach bridge check and completed some quests for Demetrius. Floor 50 got me a progressive mine elevator. Getting to floor 50 actually got me floor 50. But the pickaxe upgrade, that's actually pretty good. I shouldn't waste any more time in the mines here because we just got a, a mine elevator so we can get back to floor 50. So it makes much more sense to sleep and get that upgrade. I just realized that navigating certain sections on my own farm is kind of a nightmare. It's four corners and one of these corners is definitely a jungle biome. I've just got a mushroom thing going on here, jungle of mushroom trees. Kaido sits patiently on Robin's chair to buy a chair of his own in order to chair skip into the secret woods to show off his fancy new copper axe. I need to remember Marnie's How much tears. foraging did you do to already have the Iridium fireplace? I just got it and you, you got it so early. I thought you said that you got all the foraging levels. I absolutely did not. The only levels <laughs> I maxed out are farming. Oh, well that's good to hear at least. I guess I've just been chopping a lot of trees. The base axe? Are you masochistic? Do you use animation canceling? Oh right, I don't use that, that's true. Yeah, but you can't type commands. That's true, that's my one downside. Well, having the base bar in my clipboard is my workaround. Kaido was finally able to deliver Robin the hardwood for the beet seeds. Oh, I just realized I haven't done this yet. Wow, I could have 20,000 G. I've done this a while ago. I mean, it's a lot of money, but we got heavy tapper and movement speed bonus. Okay, that's where Kaido probably got the second movement speed bonus. That was worth it. I can't believe I forgot about that. The zooming is beginning. Okay, artisan bundle here. All I need left is cherry tree wheat here. Growing the cherry tree. I just clicked through and I don't know if I bought a white chicken or a brown chicken. Well, this one's a brown chicken, so now I'll buy a white chicken. Just to guarantee I have both, because I need both eggs. All right, we're gonna fish with Willie for a little bit here. I need the perch. Kaido attended the flower dance again to buy the red cabbage seeds he missed earlier and tried to leave early, but realized he can't escape dancing with his wife. He does need to woo her as he previously hinted a fishing level located at having a baby. So many cranberries. You got your cranberries? I didn't get those. Oh. Well, I mean, they're not in a bundle, so I don't care. He's had that up for a while. Really? I've been farming <laughs> uh, eggplants the whole time. They're my most profitable crop. <laughs> eggplants are the most profitable crop well they're, they're kind of my only repeating crop i guess yeah that's better than anything that doesn't regrow i got a fishing level from level five fishing that's funny oh but i don't even need to fish anymore i just caught what i came here for right all right well i'm buying the fishing level from clint now finally the next fishing rod here oh that's pretty good traveling merchant wednesday unlocks us three new checks so i think i do this first and come back for the fishing rod but i have to remember this I have a tendency to forget things. Kaido also bought some checks from Clint for a fishing level, Traveling Merchant Wednesday, and Yam Seeds. I used my remaining money supply to buy stone from Robin so I could buy the big barn blueprint to unlock the desert obelisk. Kaido found another fishing level from the cart on Wednesday, and I entered my first festival of ice. Oh, really? Kaido, I went to the festival without money. That's a good plan. That was a very good plan. Saw that Traveling Very Merchant new. there. I don't want to do another winter. <laughs> Should have had money. Uh... Can I leave the festival? No, I have to participate. We can at least beat Kaido Kid by actually winning this mini game here at the Festival of Ice. That'll be my one redemption. How many fish you catch at the festival, Kaido? Not enough. Not enough. What's not enough? Well, imagine you have enough and then you don't have that. Okay, well, we'll see if this is enough. A mine elevator. That's not bad. That's how Kaido was ahead of us at the mines, at least. Well, at least we know where Traveling Merchant Tuesday is. Since our games shared the same seed, our traveling carts would have the same items on the same number of days played. So Kaido ended up finding the same cooked dishes I had and was able to complete the chef's bundle for the wheat seeds. He also finished the specialty fish bundle with a puffer fish and sand fish bought from the cart and then the wood skip thanks to his chair skip. Hey, that's helpful. Fishing level, I'll take that. And oh, haha. I don't have to do the festival of ice. I found a workaround because it's the rare crow. And you can get that rare crow outside of the festival of ice. Haha, uh, things are starting to go in my favor. About time. I spoke too soon. Piers is closed on Wednesdays. I can't make money. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of that when you double slept, but uh, didn't want to say anything. Thought you'd have figured it out eventually. That's okay. Because the 
traveling cart will continue to sell the rare crow. So let's build the water obelisk, desert obelisk, the Junimo hut, and the gold clock. Oh, today is the wizard's birthday. Should have got him something. Oh, well. Oh, you know what I should do? I should complete the community center so peers won't be closed on Wednesdays anymore. It's very smart of you. You should have muted yourself before saying that. Now I'm going to cut the ad strat. Oh, shoot. You messed up. I was going to try to complete the community center now. Kaido found the big coop from the Wednesday card and built it right away. While he was at Robin's, he purchased the kitchen blueprint to unlock the bridge repair for the quarry. He hinted another fishing level located at fishing level 5 and fished for that right away. Gus gave Kaido the final coop upgrade in exchange for a single coconut. Oh, shoot. I meant to switch to my club, but I switched to my return scepter. Probably shouldn't keep that in my hotbar at all times. Which slime must be so confused. We need to find Emily. Master slingshot. Let's go. We can do skull cavern dives now. Are you doing skull cavern dives yet? Do you think I have desert access? You didn't buy the obelisk? Where was it? I didn't see it. What? No, that's not true. I saw it. It's at Robin's. I'm pretty sure it's at Robin's. Yeah, yeah. Probably shouldn't have reminded you. Although... Eh, I don't see the point of in going to the desert. Poppy seeds are good. Poppy seeds were needed for something. We're starting to make a little progress here. Maybe. Just need this dumbass chicken to make a big egg. And then what? You win? No. Oh, then there's the fishing. Oh wait! Ahaha! Ha, they made my big egg! Have you done every bundle except for fishing? After these eggs, I think so? Uh, I need to catch up. Okay, salad, spaghetti, do either hash browns or the omelette for one of them. Omelette's gonna be easier because I have eggs. I don't have potatoes, so it's probably gonna be best. Night market is open, let's head down there. All right, time to waste my time at the night market festival. Kaido finished the fodder and dye bundle and received a shuffle trap. Oh, this is a pain. While Kaido was getting that shuffle trap sorted out, I was clueless as to what checks were at the night market. What do I do at the night market here then? Your best. Kaido finished the fall crops and animal bundles and found the actual item unlock for the coffee bean. And there's the mermaid. Oh, but we have to sit through this, don't we? While I was enjoying the mermaid show, Kaido hinted yet another fishing level located at floor 80 in the mind. I guess he wasn't so confident in his fishing abilities. This better be a check. I definitely hope I didn't sit through that. Nothing. One, five, four, two, three. Okay, there we go. Deluxe fish tank. Oh, thank you for telling me that I don't need to sit through it. You've definitely done that. Come on, come on. I actually forgot to do the mermaid show the what? first time when I didn't say a word. What else is here? <laughs> Does the deep sea fishing tour really do anything though? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I mean, the paintings you said aren't. I don't know. So I had completely skipped over a Lupini check due to lack of knowledge. Mermaid show and night market festival was a waste of time. I'm not confident in my ability to catch a Dorado with these levels. Kaido was going for the Dorado, but realized the Rainbow Trout would also complete the Riverfish Bundle and was much easier to catch. I warped over to the desert and opened Skull Cavern for the first time and found my tomato seeds. Alright, probably shouldn't waste time at Skull Cavern. Kaido finished the Riverfish Bundle and found the Horse Flute, which allows him to call his horse from wherever he may be. Oh, this is the biggest one yet. Oh, I'm so happy I did that. I would have never hinted that Ooh. it's the best one. Speaking of hints, I should probably use my hints. I just don't know what to hint. I used a Jade and Void Essence to finish the Enchanter's Bundle, then Salad and Fried Egg to finish the Chef's Bundle, unlocking the Wheat Seeds which were needed for the Fodder and Fall Crops Bundles. I'm in Go Mode, I'm in Go Mode now. Are you though? Maybe. I, don't, I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally slept till Sunday when I mean to sleep till Saturday. It's good for me when you make mistakes. Yeah, maybe you should make some mistakes in return. <laughs> you think I don't? That's a bold assumption, let's say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna take care of my animals now. I'm scared because I know Kaido just needs to catch fish. I harvested my wheat and found radish seeds, which were needed for the summer crops bundle. I think I know where everything is that I need. And I know Kaido does as well. Now it's a matter of being as efficient as possible. So wait until Pierre's opened. Okay. One of my biggest time wasters by far was waiting around during the morning for shops to open. Because of this, I decided to hint the key to the town, which was located at level eight fishing. A long ways away. I wasn't gonna use my my hint on anything else so might as well do that we have to kill an hour let's go complete a bundle completely forgot am i muted or am i talking you're talking right now okay so i'm not saying anything too revealing what? Although... you're gonna complete bundles that's a good strategy yeah i'm completing bundles big brain move revealing my master plan i used my wheat to finish the fall crops bundle i had the coffee bean way before this i might have to hint the green bean or beet 
Because those are the two things I don't know where they are. I just did like a whole lap around town in Cinder Sap Forest, but that's okay. I'm moving while I'm thinking. Radish will get a free one, so I'm not worried about that. Poppy can't be that much to buy from Joja. I don't want to wait until summer. 4,000 gold on poppy seeds kind of hurts, mean, but it is what it is. I'm disappointed there was nothing essential at like floor 100 of Skull Cavern or 120 in the mines. That's where I might have been given a chance. You got that deep? Pretty sure you didn't, because there is something good there, so you wouldn't say that if you- Oh, that the axe upgrade? Maybe. Well, now I gotta go for it. Oh, thank good. Finally, an amethyst. Abigail will love me again. I slept way too much and she forgot I existed. Maybe I should pick up my auto petter. I think I left it at Jody's house. Really curious One why you put an auto petter at Jody's house. I don't know, because <laughs> there's four NPCs there. I would never pet someone if I don't have an ulterior motive. I don't know. I think I just arbitrarily put it there, if I'm being honest. Well, hopefully we're actually befriending animals this time. Kaido made it down to floor 80 in the mines to retrieve that fishing level he hinted. Fun fact, I bought a Paria trap like a dumbass. You bought taxes? No, another trap. Oh, a different trap. From the traveling cart. I just clicked too quickly and I yeah. bought myself a big trap. I was really stupid. Okay, that's something I would probably end up doing. He was killing time for another moonlight dance, so this time he could actually buy a seafoam pudding to help with fishing. Kaido tried to find a workaround to skipping the cutscene by falling asleep, but I guess broke the game. Hope you don't have to restart the day. I have to restart the day. I'm stuck in an infinite loop. All right, I'm restarting the day, which oh. really sucks. How much progress did that lose? The progress itself is not that bad because it's checks, so who cares? They're still sent. Mm -hmm. The thing that sucks is that it was 28th of summer, which means I lost my seafoam pudding. Oh, you're going for the seafoam pudding. And I don't want to yeah. wait the full day That's, again. Yeah. Well, I made the mud, so this is my fault. I should have made it better. I had to feed my animals each day as I needed large eggs and milk for the animal bundle. Can't auto sleep because of the animal. I don't could did this grind for the big eggs ages ago. Should also probably buy the duck from Marnie. Oh, and now we get the barn, of course. The Monday cart had the blueberry seeds, which Kaido and I found at nearly the same time. Kaido finally found a nautilus shell on the beach and finished the field research bundle, completing the entire bulletin board. His radish finished the summer crops bundle and completed the entire pantry. All he had left now were three fish tank bundles, so he hinted yet another fishing level located at mine floor 90. He went to the Festival of Ice again to buy the Tuesday traveling merchant, and likely since he heard me mention there was a mine elevator from the fishing game. My only hope is if Kaido Kid can't catch some of the difficult fish, I think. That's the thing I'm most scared of. I've hinted so many fishing levels, but they're so hard to get. I think I'm on my 4 to 1 hinted. As soon as I realized that the end game would come down to fishing, I started hinting only that. Well, so I'm not like, even at that part yet. You still never said how many bundles you have left. You'll find out. Yeah, and I also found out that Kaido Kid lost the fishing mini game for a second time but he made sure to keep quiet about that. No extra elevator for him, but he does make a smart move here as the festival skips over the day to 10 p.m., which is the time midnight carps can be caught after, and they are needed in a bundle. I moved over to spring as I needed a cherry for the artisan bundle. We got our first cherry. Hooray, a rare crow. Did you pick the mushroom cave? Can you get cherries from that cave? Yes, you can. What? I thought cherries was one of the ones you couldn't. I got my old artisan bundle in the farm cave. Oh, all of my mushroom trees have grown now. I don't see any cherries. They, I they definitely spawn. got cherries. Oh, okay, I guess I just got unlucky. Kaido caught his first midnight carp and reached level seven fishing. He kept going for another one as he had a bug where the midnight carp in specific could be chosen twice for bundles and our lake fish bundle had two of them. Rare purple mushroom from the mushroom trees. Oh, there's one, okay. My wheat had finished the fodder bundle and purple mushroom finished the field research bundle. I need either the beet seed, green bean seed, kale seed, or potato seed. I also finished the artisan and summer crops bundles. Oh, I have like four hints, pretty much. Kaido fished until passing out, but unfortunately only found one midnight carp. Hopefully my chickens won't hate me because I really need that big egg as soon as possible. I can't believe how long it took to get a big egg. That was the worst part. Are you going for fish or are you going for like fishing rod and fishing levels? I'm going for everything I can. Honestly, I know where the kale seeds are. I don't think I know where beet or green bean is. Well, I definitely want to know where the potato is, so... What? Oh no. I do have to buy the paintings from the night market. I don't think you remember exactly what I said. I said you don't need to buy all of them. Okay, I have to do winter again. I might as well also RNG and... Oh, 
What? I couldn't- I could be getting that. I've been checking the traveling merchant on Monday so many times. What? That's crazy. Okay. I'm assuming that's where you got one of your axe upgrades. Ernie better be working her shop today. I just need one duck. That's it. We're sleeping till Monday. We got one big egg. I need the brown one now. Okay. After lots of animal petting and feeding, I finally found both big eggs and duck egg. Okay. We're done with animals. Finally. Oh, I skipped over Monday. Shoot. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Can't stop sending me bombs in the mail. All right, six days of the Monday. We're just gonna keep doing Mondays until I get that one thing that Fido Kid definitely hasn't found yet. How's the fishing going? Not very well. I'm almost at the fishing stage, the end game. I'm buying that just so it won't pop up again. Sleep another week, I think, is gonna be best. I don't think I'm even gonna go into my in, into my greenhouse and harvest the cranberries because wasting precious time and I just need to only what I need to do, bare minimum, to have a chance, I think. Potato seeds, probably easier than kale seeds, I will say that. Finally got the progressive axe. I buy the truffle oil just because Lewis wants it. Maybe it'll magically get me something that'll change the game. Eat her green bean. I don't know if I even have a hint, but... I hinted the bean starter located at the big shed blueprint. Oh my goodness. But uh, okay, that's doable. I need wood and stone. Wood and stone. Should have enough wood. Okay, we're gonna go mine some stone real quick. I think my farm is becoming impossible to navigate. I just used a return scepter. I need to go to the community center, I think, and then Robins. Ah, that's how you got the cranberry seeds. You get them from the coffee bean, I see. Yeah, <laughs> it's about time. Coffee bean? I didn't even get the coffee bean from completing the one bundle it unlocked. I got it from just a drop from a dust sprite. Oh, I see. That was part of my Wait big plan for a whole spring. I was just sleeping two days and just harvesting the coffee beans over and over, which worked pretty not well. Sure, not sure that was a good use of your time. 300 stone. All right, we're going mining. Actually, no, we're going mining on the day of the night market festival. We're gonna be efficient with time here. That's smart. Yeah, finally something smart for once. <laughs> Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I got the witch. We're about to be done with all the bundles and then <laughs> just fishing, which Kaido Kid's been at that state for like an hour now, probably. It's not easy. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure. But I do have quite a bit of practice fishing, so I'm hoping I won't need to find like fishing levels in the Iridium Rod, for example, for those. Right, oh, tonight. no, I'm... Oh, why am I dumb? Christmas is not on the 24th, it's on the 25th. Why can't I do math? Oh, that was shameful. That's like so much less time. And I got the strawberry seeds. Not gonna even bother harvesting the cranberries. I don't need money. I need stone. I did end up finding that snowman rare crow for the Tuesday cart unlock. Oh, I could finally give Robin some hard wood. Ooh, thank you. Kaido was able to fast forward time by entering the festival and leaving right away since he was going for another midnight cart. Wait, I can just, what am I doing? I can just buy stone from Robin. You're really trying to get to the bottom of the mines. Well, I wild. need to kill some time until the night market and until Robin's open. I realized I could just buy stone from Robin. Spent all my money on stone there. Definitely worth it. Rob says buying wood and stone from Robin is a pro strat. Definitely saves time. Of course, um, now I actually need money. That's fine. I think I have cranberries to harvest. I bought stone for the blueprint, but couldn't afford the big shed now, so I had to harvest cranberries and sell them to Pierre. Oh, Mayor, come on. I gave oh, the okay. mayor the truffle oil and got the nausea debuff. I feel like that's fitting. Kaido ended up reaching fishing level 8 and found the key to the town, but yet again failed to find a midnight carp. Oh, it didn't even bite once, come on. I could finally afford the big shed blueprint. Bean starter, finally. I wasted time mining, waiting for the night market to open at 5. Kaido decided to try for the sturgeon instead and was able to catch it, which was a different option for the lake bundle. He completed it and found the bus repair. Kaido eventually earned back the love of Abigail and, well, she gave birth to a fishing level. We can finally. That's a funny message. Okay, I'm not complaining. Floor 80, fishing level. That'll help in the end game. Night market. That would be kind of awkward if I forgot that. I have the beach warp obelisk. I can do that. Get there. Rob says heading out for now. Good luck. I will need all the luck. No. 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 I bought the painting and got bear's knowledge. How many do I have to buy? <laughs> One for each day? Does it, does it say? It says portrait of a mermaid. When does he sell portrait of a mermaid? Sold on winter 16th. 
every three years, but I'm hoping that it'll be there. Kaido went for the super cucumber, but wasn't able to catch one before passing out. But at least overnight, Abigail gave birth to a traveling merchant stock size. I decided to do a skull cavern dive during my wait for the night market. These last fish are a pain. Stupid super cucumber. Oh. It's in two bundles. Yeah, the super cucumber is definitely a tough one. It just doesn't hook. I fished for it the full day and it just didn't bite at all. Kaido resorted to checking the traveling cart day after day in hopes of finding the remaining fish he needed. Meanwhile, I was still waiting for the night market to open. Playing with festival checks was fun, but more fitting for a non-competitive playthrough. A race should be fast-paced, so next time we're definitely not including festival checks since many of them start later in the day and require a whole lot of waiting around. Level 10 mining. Hooray. I don't have the traveling merchant on Sunday. Why am I even here? Hey, so going for a super cucumber from the merchant. I think that's a better deal than trying to fish it up just because I don't have to wait until 6 p.m. I don't know what the odds are and it's not looking good. Oh boy, got something real nice from making it to floor 25, full cavern. Night market should open soon though, and I just want to get to floor 25, so that's enough of Cold Cavern for now. I think I'm just waiting two hours now. After tirelessly sleeping and checking the cart many days, Kaido found an octopus, which was an alternative for the ocean fish bundle. He completed it, and all that remained for him was the night fishing bundle. It sounded like he was previously focused on that super cucumber, but the walleye was an alternative and much more common and easier to catch. 50 more minutes, and then hopefully I get the potato seeds. That's really my only chance now because i can't wait another a whole nother night market all right, it is the portrait of the mermaid okay we're good we're good that's potato seeds all right complete. right away i finally got my potato seeds without ever realizing caroline had completed kaido's spring crops bundle for him potato seeds grab those plant those right away oh shoot while it was late i should have went for the midnight carp I probably should check the traveling cart because that seems to be what Kaido's doing now, so that might be the way to win. What's up, Karaya? Buy it. It just made a noise. It's a trap. You lose hearts with everyone. The walleye can't be caught until afternoon, and time freezes during the fishing minigame, so I guess Kaido was just delaying the inevitable here at this point. I was growing the potato and green bean, which would complete my spring crops and dye bundles, then all I'd have left was fishing. I was hoping Kaido still had more fish left to catch, as fishing is something I'm fairly decent at, and with my six fishing levels, I would have been able to catch all the fish required for the bundles. Except maybe that ocean fish bundle, where I need either an octopus or super cucumber. That one one, I may have needed to grab a seafoam pudding from the moonlight dance. However, Kaido clearly displayed checking the traveling cart is an insanely effective strategy for bundle items that would have been hard to obtain otherwise, like tough fish or even crops locked behind tough checks. On this whole run without the shipping bin. Why did you never get one? I don't know where the melon seeds are. Right, I hinted the melon seeds because Demetrius also wanted them, so that was two checks. At this point, I don't need the shipping bin. Wait, have you been selling your cranberries on your trash can the whole time, or did you walk to pier? No, I've been doing pier. Kaido stopped fishing and began to wait for the clock to strike noon. Alright, well, finally, almost catch up to Kaido Kid here. I thought I grew the potato. Did I not grow the potato? My potato didn't matter as Kaido was moments away from catching his walleye. Green bean. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of that. I found my shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. I really don't want to find out what this does. Oh no. It's okay, you'll be fine. I'm worried. It's not like no, you have about no. 10, 10 seconds <laughs> remaining to win. Uh, don't bother uh, arranging it. Okay, that's fine. I'm done. You're done? You're done? I'm done, I finished. Uh, I wanted to at least get that last bundle done there. I don't know where my potato went. Kaido finished his last bundle and officially completed the entire community center, winning the race. You got the thing from the traveling cart? No, I got an octopus from the traveling cart, which was good enough to replace one of the cucumbers. And the other one, I, I went to fish a walleye manually. That's what I was doing near the end, waiting for 12 p.m. And Kaido hadn't only won, but completely obliterated me. Even though I was more skillful with animation cam 
canceling, it really only helped for tree chopping and mine runs, which ended up being a waste of time anyway. I get to kiss Abigail because I won. Kaido's randomizer knowledge certainly paid off, although both of us ended up wasting way more time than we should have. To be fair, this was only my second playthrough of the randomizer, and nobody's really ever raced it before, so I think this was a great experience and awesome to see just how many things we can improve on and potential optimizations. With that being said, thank you Kaido Kid for the amazing mod and a really fun race, but now that I've spent over a month working on this video and staring at us both repeating the same mistakes over and over, I bet you I'll win the next one. That's right Kaido, I challenge you to a rematch. It'll be interesting to see what I've been wasting my time on. And I highly recommend everyone else give the randomizer a try. You can find the link in the video description. I really, really appreciate you watching as this video took so much time and work to put together. But I'm just happy to share and I'm even more excited to share what I've got planned in the future. If you made it this far, please consider giving the video a like if you've enjoyed and even subscribing as there's a lot more randomizer fun for the future. Believe it or not, the silly YouTube algorithm stuff does go a long way for me and I'd love to see more people have fun with the randomizers. Thank you so much for the support and I'll see you in the next one.